<laughs> I don't know if you can see uh, the, the, the few <laughs> Nixon marks. I uh, he, he just kind of showed up by surprise, and of, co- of course he grabbed me by the neck, and I I was subjected to a couple of rounds by this two thousand pound gorilla. And I came home, <laughs> and and I walked in the door, and Orla really went, "What the fuck happened, you? What's wrong with your head?" And I said, "Oh, Con- Con- Connor showed up," and she just sort of rolled her shoulders and went, "Yeah, that that makes sense." But uh, yeah, we 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 had a great we had a great roll around, and I think that's my literally my first time doing some grappling with him since the lead up to the last fight. So it's it's been a while. Um, he's back. He's back healthy now. He's back able to do all the facets of of MMA training. So uh, he kind of remarked at the end of the session, "Well, that's day one," and I said, "No, nah, that's that's more like day one hundred thousand. You had a bit of a break there, but that that ain't our first time doing this." So, um, but you know, it, it, it lists the whole gym. You've a, you've a real, you know, a, a busy jiu-jitsu class there. Just a regular civilian, if, I, if I'll put it that way, jiu-jitsu class. You got a guys with a couple of months training, some amateur fighters, some blue belts, some black belts, and he walks in, and it just the whole gym. You feel kind of lifted. There's a great energy in it. He brings that that intensity to every training session, and uh, it was great to see all, all the younger guys on the mat there get a great buzz off that.